Hello and welcome to Taik 18 and welcome to this project series of Project Takmil. Hope you have seen the introduction of this one. What is this project and what are the things which we are going to cover in this project? I am really very excited about to share this information with you guys. So this contains a lot of information on this project. This is going to be a series of weekly videos. So from this project onwards, I'm not going to launch three videos in a week. It's just only on Wednesday, one video per week. It's going to be a very effective video series of this one. This can span around like two to three months, I can say. So if you want to see this video in advance, you please become a member of this channel. So I just want to make it clear on this video series in the starting part itself that we are going to cover almost like eight to ten different products and we are going to explain each and everything of those products not only the soft skills you are also going to learn the business domain and how it functions works on this one so i just want to share my experience so far i had with this during my past years of experience so you are also aware which position act at what kind of job so this is not a kind of this is actually kind of real itself but it's actually not the real exactly the real way because it depends on the company to company business to business client to client how they need their requirement so this is a kind of concept i have added here but it's almost effective as the real project itself okay so this is going to be a kind of real time interaction kind of videos so there will be not like much of editing has done in this project because it has a lot of things to do on this one so I have done a lot of preparations on this one. So making it short, now let's get started. So if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. And I really appreciate your being a member of this channel and a subscriber of my family. So moving on. The first case is the project Takmil, which is the name of the project and the business use case. So first of all, when we receive any kind of orders from any customers, they used to ask based on the requirement. And then there are phases of things which we need to do in order to do this development and then deliver it to the customers, right? So there are cases like, first of all, we need to understand the business requirement and then we need to go for the scope solution architecture and then we need to adopt our process how we are going to follow this and the research planning budgeting and then real development testing and then delivery so these are the phases which we are going to cover on this project so now let's first understand what is the business use case here so the business is actually working on a manufacturing industry and they want to start with just one single phase of the project and if those if this goes well then they will move on to the next phases so first of all the business has a manual records and some data stored locally in excel file they have a manual records and they want to they have also excel files and they want to build an app to set up the gate to enter every transactions of in and out of the goods with their approvals so they want to make any every transactions to be recorded so basically they need a gate entry which is inward and outward of all the materials so when you look into a company a manufacturing company for example so there will be multiple materials will come in and few of the materials will go also outside as a dispatch or as a for a job work purpose so those things they need to track right now they have everything in manual excel file or just in a manual physical records so they want to automate that in a systematic manner so that is the requirement. So now what is the workflow they have used here? The first phase one they have described as outward entry and inward entry. So if they want to send outside of some goods, then they need to enter a delivery challenge and then they need to get approval from the manager and then audit verification whether goods are perfectly entered on the DC delivery challenge and also the physically available goods. So in order to avoid any kind of uh, mismatch. And finally, the security will also check and then send it outside the goods. Similarly, when the good comes in, first of all, the security will check in those 
things whether it is proper or not as per the deliveries are learned from the supplier and they will also match the physical goods and after that they will make an entry in the gate entry records and after that it will go to audit verification so auditor will verify about whether the goods which is arrived is in the right quantity and right material they will not inspect the material quality but it, in terms of the quantity they will measure everything works fine or not so in the workflow phase 2 we will discuss after completion of phase 1 so that is how the customer has proposed now so this is the business use case and now to understand this one we need to draft a scope of how we need to do this and also there are a couple of questions which we need to add if there is some misconception about the requirement we can ask to the customers and then the customer will get back to us with their replies so to and also they are explaining about for existing data manual data is there actually what they are proposing but it's not a complete solution from them we need to propose it from ourselves that's the requirement so for existing manual data from excel move it to a sharepoint or azure sql they have mentioned and for existing manual records use power apps to enter the data and then it has to go through audit verification and save into azure sql for information as this is a gate entry masters are only for customers and suppliers not for item and material because there will be n number of items which will come and go it's not a specific to a particular product it can be like anything like stationary item real production items or anything else so they just want to maintain the master data of customers and suppliers so build end-to-end -end solution for this project this is just the beginning if this project goes well we have a lot to cover in other module as well so this is how they have mentioned about the business requirement so now what is our questions so there are a couple of questions a few questions which we need to ask to them as a kind of uh, approach so first of all what is the volume of existing data which we have so how much quantity we have because based on that only we can able to propose the exact solution and how many years of data we need for analytics purpose because if they have a record like for 10 years but they just want to measure it from the past two years so we need to uh, avoid bringing of unnecessary data into their our system so do we have any azure power app power bi license because if you are building a solution they need an app they want to store the data in sql so and also they need a reporting purpose so we need to consider azure power apps power bi license as of now but as and when start to build a solution architect then we'll come to know what are the tools and technology which we need to use so here we are asking about do we have any azure power apps power bi licenses and do we need the reporting on real-time analytics or one hour per day delay analysis or at least one day delay analysis how they want so how many users are going to use the power apps if you are going to build an app using power apps and how many users are going to use power bi to view the report and dashboards so do we need a solution architect so we need to ask this question because if they have already a solution for this one they can propose the same if not then we need to give them the solution so these are the questions which we need to ask to them this is a kind of uh, approach and we'll get the reply from them about for these questions so volume of existing data so excel files 5 mb approximate that is what they have what they are maintaining now and how many years of data we need for analytics so they are asking about all available so they need to analyze whether it is for two years whether it's for 10 years they want to analyze all the data and then do we have any azure power apps power bi licenses they are telling about no please suggest so they are just using manual thing everything and then they are just using everything in excel so if you want to develop these things then we need to propose them what is the best kind of license for their particular requirement and what is the cheap uh, in terms of cost so for real-time analytics how they need so real-time also they need and one day they need so they want to analyze the real time what is the transition in and out and also they want to see the data of last day or previous in a one day refresh so how many users are going to use power apps so it's basically the five users i'm guessing it should be the security auditor manager and the entry person and maybe for one of the other users so how many users are going to use power bi it's like 10 users maybe other managers or the high level people's executives will also look into the report so do we need a solution architect yes complete solution plus license options so they are asking to give us a solution as well as license part for them
so moving on to the next thing is we have understood our business requirements right now the next thing what we need to do is we need to it's our part actually being a development company for ourselves we need to build a solution architect and then we need to build resource planning budgeting and then we need to submit the code to them if they are okay with that then they will give us an order so to do that what is the next step now the next step is let's do it in mind map hope you are aware of mind map if you are not then it's a good time to learn that hope you are aware of lucid chart and other kind of chart kind of thing where we can map our graphs not graph actually the process flows and everything so mind map is also one of its kind so it's easily integrated with your google account if you want i am just using it my google account to sign in here or also you can do with other things also like microsoft account yeah let's do it in a microsoft account login here i am using this account which we are going to use throughout the project So let me sign in through my Google itself. It's asking for a license version. Change account. So basically, it's al already integrated with Google accounts. If you have, you can use that for free version. So I'm using my Google Drive and clicking on this Google. Uh, mind map to for Google Drive so it's just a free for now uh, I can use that same thing here so create a new map or open from Google Drive so I'm, I'm opening it from Google Drive if I have saved any one of them previously yeah here you go I am selecting on this one project Takmil I have just renamed this project Takmil. All right. So now, if you look into this, let me zoom here. This is what I have added here project Takmil. And first of all, we have this business requirement. So that's what it added here. And then scope and communications. We have done here and after that it's an architecture and then resource planning what we need to do so now when it comes to architecture so what are the things it covers here so basically the architecture what they need here is they want to they have an excel file they want to move it to a azure sql or a sharepoint and also they want to build a power apps using azure sequels and the power bi and power automate so that is how it looks like right so in order to do that this architectural flow uh, first of all we need to consider the resource planning so in resource planning how what is the team we need to build for this one and how many times it will consume for that so this is an approximate estimate the team members and their effort so that we can arrive at a cost what we need to what we need to code to them so based on this one what I feel is how many people are required for this project is the resource planning approximately I'm just adding up here if I zoom out here click on this one and then you can click on this one child node it's add up here so one we got it here as a project manager and again you click here and then add up again on the child node here inside child node it's add up to this one but actually I need it from here so clicking on the resource planning again and clicking on child node it's add up here so first of all every project we need a project manager and then we need a solution architect so this also will vary based on the company to company but here is just a proposal here there's a usual one and adding a third one which we need a data engineer let me zoom this it's not zooming up here oh here you go So now we have data engineer if I click here again insert child node here and after that we need a power apps developer 
and then data analyst uh, not here clicking on this one and insert child node and after that we need a quality tester here q a and tester i'm mixing up both of them here because of it is a small project and selecting this one and last thing we need is the business analyst so business analyst is a person who should be aware of small part of at least it can be a software side and main thing he needs to be aware of the domain functionality so here what is the gate entry he need to understand that and what is the process and everything so he need to test it out everything thoroughly so these are the peoples which we need under this one and then we need to arrive it to a figure how much cost and everything which comes up here so what would be the next thing here so we have this scope and communication with them and then here this is what which is spending we need to do and these are the peoples which you need under the resource planning here and if i look into this one this is the second part which we need to do and then we need to build up a architecture role right so what are the if we consider architecture the project manager will discuss with the architecture of the company and what are the things which it will comes inside to this one so based on this one what it is arrived is they have an excel file so we need a person to be known on excel and they want to store it in azure sql we need a person to know azure sql and after that they need a power apps and power bi so that is what we have already here as data engineer data analyst and power apps developer and these are the common things which we need so all good so now let's go into this part which is the licensing so now in the next video we'll discuss about exactly how the process flow will work as a solution architect and then we'll talk about the licensing part into this one so thank you so much for being a part of seeing this video till this end and we we'll look forward for the next thing but before to that i want to share you to one thing so before you go i just want you three inputs from your side what is the new you have learned from this video and which is the best part in this video and what are the areas which we can improve so please post your comments in the comment section below so that i can take it forward for our next videos on this one thank you so much and see you in the next video